The brief for this house was to create a house that was like a hotel. The clients travelled a lot and they really enjoyed some of the aspects of the hotels they stayed in and that was a real initial um, start or driver for the house. They wanted those views, those sort of aspects and features, but they also wanted to be private. Views looking out, but without people looking in. So what we did was create big decks out the front, and then that actually, if you're inside the house, you can't actually see the walkway. It's pretty clever because you can still see all of the water, but you can't actually see all the people walking in front, which is really cool. I said to Brian one day, how about we do a big box over a little box? We've sort of got this glass box that sits underneath with a couple of sort of concrete walls that frame it, and then this cantilevered Swiss pearl and cedar box that flies out over the front. The connection with putting the living on the lower level to the water is something that's really special, and it was a really good decision. When you're down in this area, it really feels like you're living on the lake. On the upstairs area, which sits in that more visual plane, we put this cedar rain screen that runs down the side. When they're closed, they're completely seamless. You cannot tell that it's not just a solid cladding wall on the west, and people would go, why have they got no windows on there? And then when you can adjust them to being inside or out, it just seamlessly, quietly moves open and closed to whatever degree you want it. And the way that angled is that if you're inside the room, you can look out and see the water but if you're actually walking up the track, you can't actually see inside the house, so that's quite clever. Homes are getting bigger and sections are getting smaller and we have to be smarter about the way we design the spaces. And I think this house is a really good example that there's definitely houses that are bigger than this, but each room is specifically designed for a purpose in mind. So I think the future is making sure that our houses are smart and thinking about what the end use is for.